Hi everyone, welcome to another video where we will see how to add a trigger in Google Docs. So here I have a folder in Google Drive and say triggers, I'll have blank document, go back to app script and I usually copy the name, put the name here, rename this. So there is if you go for document app dot new trigger there is nothing but if you go for script app dot new trigger there is uh, the trigger we can do and we can say function test log it okay and we are going to call this function here test and now we need to specify how do you want it and every minute let's say one dot create okay and instead of my function we can call it my trigger right and uh, now let me just run this and now we'll get the permissions window here and I'm going to allow that okay now when I check the executions nothing triggers it's not there but if I run it now some more permissions are required okay so this is for the trigger permissions right so if we see here now we have the time based trigger so what I can do is <coughs> uh, also I can say for doc An active document and once we have the document I can say doc get body dot set text applied from trigger right or added from trigger okay now I'll save this now if we can somehow make these separate it will be visually nice to see this so on the right hand side we have this executions and if we see the trigger trigger is there it should get a new row added here for the trigger to be executed at the same time document should get updated it failed why did it failed okay so some permissions are missing okay so I need to run that again it's going to ask me for the newer permissions because I want to update the document right so that's why it's asking for those permissions see and edit allow an application to run okay it's done now and hopefully when it runs this time it's going to write it So as we can see here added from trigger is automatically added because of uh, 
the time driven um, method let's wait for one more minute and we can see it added once more and post that I'll show you something very interesting okay as you can see it's it's working fine right and now in my script I'm going to add a function called on open I'll say menu setup setup trigger and the function name is my trigger and what we'll do is instead of directly setting up the trigger we will delete the existing triggers to be on the safe side and then we'll add this same trigger let me go ahead and to to show this right I need to delete this and see this is now there are two triggers to avoid these kind of issues we can and run this maybe yeah it is working fine here we don't have a menu item let me run this method the menu has appeared and when I click on setup trigger argument cannot be null Okay, need to see that my trigger code 13 and number 13 okay so there are no triggers now we want to set up the trigger this works fine trigger is now added right so this is the way we can have the set of the trigger from the menu as well and if I type something and leave the cursor here we know what is going to happen in about a minute it's going to update the text here as added from trigger it's probably going to delete all the text and add it because the code that we have here says body.setText so it's going to delete the entire thing and add it right. to make it a little more visual let me delete this let us see what happens as you can see here trigger is working fine so that's the way we can add some trigger uh, in the Google Docs the code will be available on my blog you can reach out there and copy the code thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you have a great day